Hi, my name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some UiPath. Today we will talk about matches and regex in UiPath. Regex, or regular expression, that's just a sequence of characters that defines a search pattern. So here you will see a search pattern, the regular expression. And this is a text that we want to search. And the entire thing here, the site, that's an online regex tester. So by now, if you're not familiar with regex, I'll recommend you to watch my basic tutorial. I'll link to it in the description. And from now, I'll just assume that you know regex. You don't have to know anything, just the basic syntax and uh, maybe more the understanding of it. So here we got a text with three emails and this regex search expression will uh, search for uh, all emails and we can see that it finds three. You could make it more strict, however, that's not the main focus of this. This will just be an example and uh, this one is fine to use. So uh, let's uh, head to UiPath. I will strongly recommend you to do the operations uh, with me because uh, you'll learn a lot from that and the video is designed for you to just pause and start it whenever you want to. And uh, let's get going. So we'll create a flowchart because I think we need two or three sequences for today's lesson. For today's lesson. So um, this one uh, we will create a sequence for our first matches lesson. We could call this one matches basic like this. We will open it and uh, we will find the matches activity here in UiPath. Drag that one in. And uh, first we will need some variables. We can see that this matches, it will take an input, it will use the search uh, pattern, that was our regex, and then it will return a result. And the result will be a collection of, um, of the matches. So let's create like a couple of variables, this str input, that will be the um, input. That could be literally anything, like an email or whatever you want to check. So uh, here, in the default, we will uh, put in the value in quotation marks. Remember to change the scope because we will use uh, this variable in the entire uh, tutorial. Now we need the regular expression to be configured. So uh, we will uh, str, we could call it regex, like this. Again, change the scope to the flowchart, quotation marks, and now we got our regex. So uh, we'll go back to matches up here. The input, that will be this str input. The pattern, that will be the str regex. And then the uh, output, that will be an i enumerable variable. And an i enumerable, that's just an, yeah, an enumerator which supports a uh, simple iteration of a yeah, collection. So uh, put out uh, in the result, put out control k, i enumerable like this, and we could uh, make a named IEN output like this. Again, we change the scope to the entire flowchart because we will use it again. So now we configured our matches and let's say that we want to print out the first value. We could print it like to anything like a document, an Excel file or whatever, or we could just use a message box or a right line. I'll use a right line here. And then um, uh, to print out the first um, the first match is really simple. We will take our output i enumerable, and then we will use some .NET. We will take their uh, first entry. Remember, it's zero index, so the first match that's just zero, and then we just put in that value. So now it will write out a line with the first match we got. That should be the test one, test one dot com, and then um, UI path. Uh, We'll start up here and now it has written uh, test1 test1.com and similarly if we change this to 2 run the file again we can see that it um, actually in the output it uh, pointed it, uh, it put out the test tree the tree.com so now we know how to print out like the x number of match however we will run into a problem if we try to print out a match that does not exist, like if we wrote tree or, or higher here, then uh, UiPath will throw an exception and that's not very good. So we could either, let's change it back to the first match. 
So what we could do is that we could a uh, uh, count our matches and then just uh, based on that count we could uh, write out the uh, matches so that will look like this i e n output then just count that will be a um, an integer and then we could uh, convert it to a string and write it to the line let's see how that looks so now we'll write out the first email and then a count of a number of a uh, matches and that should be three. However, there's an elegant solution to print out all matches if we need that. So let's head to main and create another sequence. Let me move this one over here. This one we will call matches advanced. It's really not that advanced, but it's more advanced than the basic, so it will be named advanced. Let's uh, right click it, set it as start node, and then uh, go into it. So again, we will uh, use a, a matches like this. We will drag in the matches here and we will configure it uh, the same way uh, as we did before. So this one will be input, this one will be the regex, and this one will be the i-enumerable output like this. And uh, now uh, to print out all matches, now we use a for each. We we'll drag that in here, and this one will loop through uh, for each item in the i enumerable um, output like this, and then we can uh, find the right line again, like this. Drag it in here, and we can just say item to string, and this one should do it. This one should write out uh, first uh, the first um, match and then the th uh, second and then the third. Let's see if that works. I'm sure it does, but uh, just to show you. And let's go to output and we can see that now it printed out uh, all the matches. That's quite useful, isn't it? And finally, we could... Uh, let's create a third sequence like this. And we will uh, rename it to a um, is matches. Set this one a start node like this, and then find again search for is match here. Or we could actually uh, rename it to is match because that's its name. Open it and then drag it in here. What this does, it just uh, check that is there a match or not, and it will return a boolean. So uh, is there an email in our text? Let's configure it again, like we just have our variables. Oh, our enumerable output here, uh, like this. And um, we see that um, this one uh, make an uh, narrow UI path. That's because this one we stored it as a um, our enumerable match and now we need to have a boolean so let's create a boolean just create bool and then output I can call it and then we will change it from string to a boolean like this and um, let's go up here let's uh, find our bool output here so this one will return a true or false. If there's an email, it will return a true, otherwise false. So uh, right line again, and we can just write something like, uh, if there is an email, and then we will uh, put in the uh, boolean to a string. So uh, the bool output into string, like this, and this one will return a true. So um, let's um, try to run this. The output and uh, there's an email that's true. So let's say that uh, I only uh, showed you what happens if there is an email. Let's change the input. Let's change the input to um, Control A and just uh, blah 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 blah. This one. This should be false because uh, now there's no email in it. Let's try to run this. 
And now in the output, you will see that this is false. So uh, and let me um, change it back to uh, our test string. So uh, I will uh, save the code as well um, and uh, link to it in the description. So that was it for now. Remember to subscribe to my channel because we'll make a lot of uh, other fun UiPath videos, guides, tutorials, and if you got any wishes or uh, things that you want to have elaborated, just uh, write it in the comments. I will make a video. I love to just sit out and uh, play with UiPath and know a lot. So, um, yeah, just ask. And uh, until then, see you next time and have a good day.